Hey, good morning. It's Blake here at the Dollar Tree right there. We're gonna be going around to a few Dollar Trees today. Yesterday in my vlog, I found 21 brand new copies of a PS4 game. So I'm saying, hey, you know what? If Dollar Trees have brand new PS4 games or Xbox One games for that matter for a dollar, why not go around and buy them all? I am keeping track of miles, money spent, and at the end of the video, we'll do a complete rundown. So stick around for that. But for now, let's get inside. Okay, inside the Dollar Tree here, and it looks like this is not going to be uh, as easy as I thought it would be. When I walked into the other one yesterday, they were everywhere, like right in front of my face, but now uh, it looks like slim pickings. I'm going to scan these DVDs, though, to see what they're worth. All right, quick in out. No video games, but I did buy some Blu-rays and DVDs that are profitable. I'm not going to include those in the video game profits, obviously, but as a bonus, at the end of the video, I will show what I bought and how much I expect to make off these brand new DVDs. Now it's stop number two. Stop number two is a bust as well. I'm finding some good DVDs, but not nearly as many video games as I want to find. Let's see if it turns around. I hope it does. I'm not sure. I've got, you know, a few hours left still, but uh, I'm worried. All right, third stop. Let's see if we have any more luck. All right, at this point in the video, I think you are sensing a trend. I certainly was. We have lots of great Blu-rays, lots of great DVDs. I actually bought, I think, 10 or 15 Blu-ray DVDs here, so that's fine. But what they also had that I found interesting were these. So it's some sort of controller accessory, kind of like a, an amiibo, I guess, where you get figurines and you insert them onto the pedestal or whatever it is, and then you get their powers. That's like the basis for your team building or for uh, establishing characters. I didn't buy these, and let's talk about why. Back in the car, and I ended up passing on the game accessories. The sales rank was very low, but they were kind of big and bulky, and so even though they didn't weigh more than a pound, they didn't get low 270 FBA fulfillment rates. So when it all uh shook down i was only gonna make like a dollar per item and that's if the price doesn't go down and while i'm okay selling the games if they're not popular because there's a collector's market there's not as big a collector's market for those controller accessories like that it's just um you know i made a judgment call and said no i'm passing on it and found some more good dvds but so far this has been a bust store number four right there and i feel good i am positive i have a positive attitude about these things we're gonna walk in there find a whole bunch of ps4 games and this is not gonna be a waste of time and then the narrator says it was a waste of time again great blu-rays great dvds but uh well you see what i see hey what's up we are running low on battery only a few more dollar trees left so I'm gonna snap my fingers and we're gonna arrive magically back at my warehouse with all of the things I bought and we'll do the price run down, profit run down then. You guys ready? Okay, the snap is gonna come right about. All right, so we're back in the warehouse and guess how many PS4 games I found at the last stop? Guess how many? Zero, goose egg, nada, not one. I spent three hours driving, drove 60 miles, the good news is I got 55 DVDs and Blu-rays that I'll make a little over 250 bucks on, including cost of goods, including gas. You know, not the best sourcing uh, money per three hour ratio that I've had in my whole life, but still I was able to salvage uh, <laughs> just a dud of a time trying to find these PS4 games. I, my estimation is that the DVDs are all gonna sell in like two months, so it'll take probably two weeks to get active the way things are going now and then two months after that i was targeting like tv series i was targeting cartoon characters that i recognized so there was like top cat dvds in there there's this collection of toys it's like for little girls who like zombies they're like high school teen drama zombies those dvds sold pretty good um nothing above a sales rank of like fifty thousand, unless i made a mistake so they're all going to sell relatively fast and it just goes to show you you cannot have tunnel vision when you're outsourcing i was looking for these uh, you know, for the sake of the video. But like, if I was just sourcing on my own, I'd be going to thrift stores, then Dollar Trees, then a Walmart, and looking for everything, seeing what's there. Because if you're trying to capitalize on gaps in the market, you know, retail arbitrage, you can't be picky about what you find. You have to be agile, look for the good deals, and act accordingly. 
Hope this video helped. If you like the DVD videos, I posted one a few weeks ago, a few months ago, where I bought a thousand Dollar Tree DVDs. So go rewatch that and uh, like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe, doing daily vlogs tomorrow. We're either gonna do a live stream or a thrift store sourcing vlog. So check it out and I'll see you guys later.